Hello and welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. This time I'm going to talk you through. I hope you're able to understand what I say due to my accent and also because I finally after two and a half year, years managed to get the COVID. But as you can see I have already started putting down colors. The first one was Amsterdam Sky Blue Light and the second one Amsterdam Tallow Blue and then it was Turquoise by Amsterdam and on top of that a bit of gold by Joe Sonja. And now I'm doing the outer circle with the same colors but in a different order. And you can see there's quite a gap between the center portal and the outer circle. And you might notice that this canvas has been used before and that is because the first pour I did was pretty awful, so I scraped it. And I'm adding more white for the paint to flow on. This part is really, really important. I sometimes forget it and discover it once I start the blowing. It's really annoying. And this is the cell activator that is made of the Australian Floetrol and Van Dyke Brown. And the blowing of the center, it does take a bit of practice. If you want some hints and want to see it done in a slow motion, you can have a look at my video number 37. That is a very throughout explanation of how to do it. And also notice here that I have a wide line of paint around the center. And to be honest, I did this before I did the, the pink, my previous pink flower. And after this one, I decided to try and put even less white in the center because I wanted the center to be darker. But it's really just a matter of taste. Maybe you prefer this one. You can let me know afterwards. The straw I'm using is very soft and flexible and is a thicker one. It is originally made for drinking cocktails, actually. I could flex the straw to go around the flower, but it's really a whole lot easier if you have a lazy Susan like I do here. And notice when I start blowing, I try to get a bit of the cell activator from the center going out in the petals. It really gives these very fine, delicate lines, and I really, really love those. And now I'm just defining the petals a bit more. I'm not dragging my finger all the way down to the base of the canvas. I'm just pulling a bit of the white paint in towards the center. I'm trying to go with the natural lines in the colors. You don't have to do this if, if you want it this marked, but it's up to you. And I'm adding a bit more titanium white to help the painting flow while I do the spinning. You don't have to do the spinning here, actually it looks quite nice as it is, but still I want to spin it a bit, because that's what I'm playing around with these days. And a very careful spin, first in one direction and then the second go in the other direction. And I actually ended up only doing two spins with this painting. And this is where I would start tweaking the wet painting, but I actually liked it just the way it was. So this is just a close up of the wet painting. And now it's all dry and I really like this one actually, even though it has some white in the center. Which one do you prefer, this one or the pink one? I love the way the lines from the center goes into the petals and I really like the dark definition of the petals and the white in the petals I like as well. And look at this, just a little bit of gold in the lacing, oh I really like that. Let me know what you think and have a joy joy day.